Alright guys, what's up? And I'm gonna bring you another tutorial here and we're gonna be installing custom themes. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think it's awesome. Um, yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> so we're gonna come to this page. Uh, there's many apps here more that you could try out, but for now let's focus on theme manager which is custom themes and it's called chmm chmm2 but what i noticed when i replaced the files it actually replaced the icon and, and i think it's called blender and the icon is different as well <clears throat> anyways make sure to put in your 3ds i mean your sd card into your computer or your sd card reader all right now we're gonna open up the 3DS folder and we're gonna come here to CHMM2 folder. Okay? So very important. You're usually gonna see like three different files on here. Okay? So now we're gonna download the version 2.8. All right? So we're gonna open it. Okay, it's still downloading. All right, so once it finishes downloading, you're gonna see all these files here. All right, give me a second. Let me close this here. Let me open up my So we're back here to the SD card. We're gonna get these files here, all these, and just place them. So I'll replace two or three files that were norm that were already there. And yeah, make sure you have a themes folder here. So also, if you have a themes folder, just make one, and that's it, okay? All right, we're done here. So, like I said, if you don't have a themes folder, just right-click on your computer, folder, and name it themes, okay? That's pretty much it. All right, let's not close this. Now we're going to go to this website here. I'll leave a link to the description. It's and we could download any themes that are available. So you could search, um, let me go, I, like, I love Zelda, so. Zelda lets you what's there to offer. So you can see, it offers about 15 pages. And I believe some of these are custom, are actual themes that Nintendo gives out. But anyways, um, yeah, let me see, let me download this one. So I'm gonna download Majora's Mask and you're gonna see this arrow right here, pointing down. Just click it, and it's downloading, okay? So I'm gonna open it now. I don't really extract these files. So, <clears throat> now let's come to the CHMM2. Go to themes, open a folder. I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna name it Zelda Zelda Majora's Mask Go Kid. I think that's what the title is. Anyways we're gonna get these folders here where it says preview to BGM. Alright and we're gonna drag it into the Majora's Mask or whatever you rename it to. Okay, we're done here. Okay, now remove your SD card. Put it back into your, into your 3DS. As you can see, I had the sun and moon themes. 
So I believe a lot of these are actually the legitimate ones that Nintendo offers. So, alright. Now, load into Homebrew. Alright, now go down and you'll see Blender. It was before CHMM2, but I guess with the new files, it updated. Alright, as you can see, if I move left or right, oh, select me whatever I have available. So I'm going to press A. If you want to preview your theme, you could press Y. It's going to open up the song. Hopefully it has a song. So it's opening BGM preview. Alright, so as you can see, it does have a, it does have the audio to it, and I'm gonna go back to the main menu of the 3DS. So let's see, let's see if it does have it, because the other version of two point, I forgot which one was it, had an issue. As you can see, it does actually have the sound when you click on the icons. That's when a link opens up the treasures. So I'm not trying to spend a lot of time on it because I know Nintendo will copyright me with this. So I'm not trying to put the song out there as much. Like even when I load Zelda, I'll skip the songs really quick. That way I don't get copyright because Nintendo is like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the Zelda, I mean to the Lunala and Solgaleo. And yeah, so I'm gonna press Y on it. And we should be able to hear the BGM preview. Alright, so just press. Just press A to install. Want to save and install theme? Okay. This usually happens. So just go back. If it does give you an error, just go back. So installing theme. Okay, so it's gonna give us an error. So just reboot it and then go back into homebrew. It does happen, but hey, it's better than the other one I had before. The BGM wouldn't play. It will play when, when it wants to. It will play the other audio that's not supposed to go to it. Alright. <clears throat> so let's give it another try. So now I gotta skip to this real quick because, like I said, Nintendo will copyright you for the music that plays in Zelda. All right, let's go back to Blender. All right, I'm gonna install the theme. There you go. So now just press start and then just press A on exit CHMM2. That's it, now press start and press A to proceed. All right, so let's see if it has the actual song. Yep. So it actually has the audio of the theme. So this is pretty epic. The other one wouldn't even work. I don't know, I kept trying to remove the theme and then put it back and at times it would work, at times it wouldn't. Now this is actually way better. So, all right guys, that's pretty much it to him. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, then hit the dislike button. If you wanna support the YouTube channel, Hit the subscribe button and peace out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one guys. Happy holidays and happy new years.